you know what I'm doing here. This is the smartest picture in the world. And at this rate, it's probably going to be the smartest picture forever. That's Einstein right here. And I'm making videos about all these people. But today I wanted to ask the question, why are all these people here? And where is this exactly? That's right. Today I want to explain the amazing history of the Solvay conference. The first conference was in 1911 and the topic was about why classical physics is incorrect and the quantum theory. This is an invitation only event, kind of like Hogwarts, I guess. And only a few people from all over the world were invited. We have the smartest people from Germany, France, Austria, Denmark, and many other countries. By the way, Einstein is the second youngest person here, and I don't think anyone from outside of Germany even knows who he is. So it's kind of like his debut as well. He also became lifelong friends with Marie Curie here, which by the way, make sure you hit that follow button because my next episode will be about Marie Curie, who at this point in time has already won two Nobel Prizes, one in chemistry and one in physics. Nobody has done that, not even to this day. I just think it's so cool. They sent out 12 different scientific papers to the invitees in advance, and they just told them to come here and discuss different ideas, and it was very effective. For example, Poincaré came back from the conference convinced that quantum theory was correct. Louis Broy didn't even know what the quantum theory was before this conference, and he went on to become a rock star in the field with his everything is a wave theory. I'll make an episode about the rich boy too. And then they had a second conference in 1913, but then World War I began in 1914. So they wouldn't have another one of these until 1921, but now German scientists are barred from attending it. They were willing to make an exception for Einstein, but he refused to attend, and he said, and I quote, it is not right for me to take part in the Solvay Congress because my German colleagues are excluded. In my opinion, it is not right to bring politics into scientific matters, nor should individuals be held responsible for the government of the country to which they happen to belong to. By the way, it's not like Einstein cares about Germany. He renounced his German citizenship at the age of 17, long before the World Wars, and he was extremely against nationalism, but more on that in my Einstein episode. And then in 1927, after Germany joined the League of Nations, German scientists were back in the game, and that's where this famous picture comes from. 17 of the 29 people in this picture won a Nobel Prize. I call this one the Einstein versus Bohr conference because they would keep debating the uncertainty principle. And you should know what that is if you've seen my Heisenberg episode. And then we had another one in 1930, and then another great one in 1933 where it lasted a week. And then World War II happened. These conferences are still going on to this day. The last one was this year, 2022. But I just don't think they're what they used to be. The pictures were taken in Brussels and Belgium, and that's because Ernest Solvay is from there. Solvay was a Belgian chemist who taught himself science and came up with a better way to make sodium acid which is used in manufacturing glass, softening water, and in food products. He had the patent for it, and it made him incredibly rich. And then the guy who came up with the third law of thermodynamics, Walter Nernst, told Solvay, hey, wouldn't it be cool to invite a bunch of scientists from all over the world so they could discuss different topics? And Solvay loved to spend his money on the advancement of science, so he agreed to sponsor it. This video got kind of long, huh? So please make sure you like, share, and follow. Honestly, that's the only thing that motivates me to make more content.